Miracle Boy Bags and ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of Bags. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Jose Cruz, and guys, what a morning of boxing in Tokyo, Japan, ladies and gentlemen, um, what a card at the Tokyo Dome this morning, um, the thing about these cards in Japan, you, you know, is it, they, they start really early in the day in, in, in the U.S., here in, the, here in the States, I'm not in the States, but I'm in American territory in the Virgin Islands, so I have more or less the same time as you guys. Uh, so, be that as it may, about the fights, um, start time. You know, if you're if you're not, if you're not working, if you didn't work today, you had time to watch some boxing early morning, four a.m., five a.m., six a.m. Because those those were the times when the car was going on. So. I got to work. I had to work. So I really had no time for the card. Um, I go to work at 7. Um, but I got up at 5. So I already knew that the card was on. Because it said. The advertisement was like said. It, it usually starts at 4 something. So I'm up. I remember I, I remember about the card. And I tuned in on ESP Plus on the phone. I'm in the bed laying down. And as I went in. I bumped into. I ran into the Show Ishida versus Takuma Inoue fight. I think that was the fight that kicked off the main card. And it was a good fight. Um, not too long after the fight started, Show Ishida dropped Takuma Inoue. And um, after that, Takuma Inoue gathered himself pretty well, collected himself, and he took it right back to Show Ishida in a tremendous fight. You know, a tremendous fight. And um, Tokuma Inoue defeated Shoishida by decision. Um, then after that, I, I really had no time, no more, no more other time for the for the fight card. So I'm at work. You know, it's after seven. I'm at work, and my brother. So I'm working, and my brother pulls up his phone and he, and he shows me what's going on with Nayo Inoue fight and Luis Neri. As he showed me, all I saw, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, let me see. I told my brother, let me see. All I'm thinking about is new Nayo Inoue and Neri going toe to toe in a brutal slugfest. First thing I saw was, boom! Nayo Inoue get drops gets dropped with a big left hook from Luis Neri. That was the least thing I expected. I was like, holy crap! Are you serious? So yes, Luis Neri drops. Nayo Inoue hard makes Nayo Inoue do like almost a whole 360 before he went down on the canvas. And he, Inoue had a face like, what the hell just happened here? Did, just, did this just happen for real? Like a shocked face. Inoue was not hurt. He was just surprised of what happened. Got caught flush. Didn't see it. And um, Inoue has known to have a good chin. So he did not get up right away. He acknowledged, okay, he got dropped. He look, he's looking at the referee. He's on his knees, uh, on one knee, and um, he's looking at the referee counting. So he's taking his time. He's not getting up fast. Usually when fighters get up fast, it really hurt. So anyway, he took he took his time, got up, and um, collected himself. And Luis Neri won that round clearly, clear, clear, um, clear as ever in that first round. Second round came. Boom! Luis Neri gets dropped from Nayo Inoue from a straight right hand. Um, I think as he was coming in for a punch and he got caught. That's one thing in Nayo Inoue. He's a very short, compact puncher. Very quick, sharp. And um, he got dynamite in both hands, man. Um, just ask Nonito Donaire. Uh, everyone he's knocked out. Fulton. Maloney. All those tremendous fighters. So these two guys were going at it. Boom! Luis Neri gets drops again. Brutal. Keeps eating those straight rights to the chin. And Luis Neri is known to have a durable chin. Tough Mexican fighter. Punching power. All those dangerous every round. And um, 
Eventually, in the sixth round, man, Luis Nene could no longer take any more right hands. He took the right hand, another right hand. He went straight down on the ropes, his head hanging on the bottom rope, like, bam, that like, I'm out of here, man. I'm, I'm out. I'm done. I cannot, I cannot continue this fight. Like, he was out of it, ladies and gentlemen. To the report, the referee was counting. He just decided to wave it off. It was just enough. Enough. Save Luis Neri to fight another day. And um, Nayo Inoue has, has won the fight by knockout in the sixth round in a hell of a fight. In a big surprise, man, because when Luis Neri dropped Inoue, whoever it was in the Tokyo Dome and, you know, you know all the Japanese, majority of the crowd is Japanese, and all the Japanese watching around the world, um, Luis Neri gave the whole, whole of Japan a scare after Inoue got dropped because... When Inoue got dropped, that was the big, that was the most trouble he's had since fighting Nonito Donir in the first fight. Nonito Donir was the first fight, was the first opponent to give him a tough fight. Since then, no one has until Luis Nene dropped him in the first round. That drop, that knockdown alone was just as bad and as tough as his fight with Nonito Donir. He's never been dropped. Inoue has never been dropped until this morning. So Luis Nene dropped Inoue for the first time. And uh, McCoy Inoue returned the favorite double twice, knocking down Luis Neri twice. And um, it was a it was a it was a brawl in, in, in the Tokyo Dome, man. And um, the undisputed champion at bantamweight, super bantam, at 122 pounds, Inoue is still the man, two-time undisputed champion, arguably the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Next to Terrence Crawford, both Crawford and Inoue can argue that they're the best number one pound for pound. Because both guys are two-time undisputed champions. Um, they're undefeated. Um, they got a good knockout percentage. And both guys are really good finishers in there. Uh, when they touch you, you're likely to dance or get KO'd. Tremendous boxer punchers. Um, and two of the top fighters in the sport today. Luis Neri is no slouch himself coming into this fight. Two-time world champion, tough Mexican fighter, power in both hands. As you saw, he dropped Inoue in a big surprise. And, uh, yeah. So, all in all, man, that was a hell of a fight. Um, the least I expected for Inoue was to get dropped. And um, it happened, man. Anything in boxing can happen, and that happened. So, just want to come out here and talk to you guys about this fight. You know, I really had, you know, I really didn't have any time to watch the full fight, um, and do a video until now. Is, is a, what, what time it is now? It's like nine oh six over here in the, in the in the night. Just came from work to literally sit down here and talk to you guys about this fight. Couldn't wait. I was really anxious because of the results of what I saw. Man, it was crazy. Now, in a way, remains pound for pound greatness. Twenty seven and 24 KOs. Two-time undisputed champion, ladies and gentlemen. Luis Neri drops to 35 and 2 with 27 KOs. Still a dangerous man in the sport, and he'll be back. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. It is always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.